What's up everyone? It's Ron Gopop and I'm back here to draw a Star Wars character. Today I'm going to be drawing Baby Yoda or the child or Grogu. I will always call him Baby Yoda. And what I'm going to start out with is my Procreate pencil, just a, a light blue color just so I can differentiate from my lines. And if you saw my first video, you know that I do a lot of uh, scribbling when I'm trying to lay out a, a underdrawing. I do the scribbling and then and then I drop the opacity to that and I, I do my quote unquote inks over the top of those. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And I'm probably going to um, time lapse this just because this is really just me working out um, the story. Not the story, the, uh, the layout of what I want the character to be. And even though Grogu, Baby Yoda, has a, a big old jacket that co basically covers his whole body. Um, I still have to, you still have to put in the under layers here and put in where you think, um, where you think his bones are, his, his limbs, his arms, his legs, all that stuff. Because if you don't put that stuff in the drawing, then you're just going to be like, um, where, where's that going to go? And when you try to do the final drawing, it's going to come out really wonky looking. So anyways, yeah, I'm going to probably, um, do a little time lapse here, show you how I put in this under drawing and uh, figure out where I want everything and I will see you back when I put in the the inks and, and the colors and all that so all right um, I'm drawing him because I just watched the Star Wars vision show and I really like that show it was um I enjoyed it a lot more than I I've enjoyed any of the sequels and prequels I think I liked it just as much as I remember being little and and watching the first uh, I didn't see them when they first came out in the theaters, but the first Star Wars trilogy, and this was just so much fun to watch these Star Wars visions because they were, they weren't. I feel like they were fun because they weren't beholden to the, to the the lore and everything else that's out there. The creators could just have fun with it and and make what they wanted to make. And there was a ton of awesome lightsaber battles in those. So if you haven't seen it, uh, I definitely say check it out there. I think there are nine episodes, and they call them short films, but they're really only about 15 minutes long. Um, there are a couple ones. The Duel was a really cool one. I think that's the first episode. And also, T.O.B. 1, or Toby. Man, that, that one was just so cute and, and fun. I really like that one, too. Uh, so, But I, I don't really have good reference for those guys. I wanted to draw one of those characters. Maybe I will in a, in a future video. But for now, I'm going to be drawing um, Baby Yoda. Okay, I think I like the look of that, so I'm going to undo my, or remove my blue lines, so I can't see those. Chop the opacity down to my red lines. Go about 10% or so. New layer. And now pick my inks. And pick my regular comic book, or uh, regular inking brush pen I usually do. Studio pen, just a it's a regular studio pen, but I just changed the streamline to 80 there, so it keeps it a little bit more smoother lines. And I'm just gonna basically go over the top of these. And ink away. <clears throat> yeah, Grogu was such a fun fun character. In the Mandalorian. Caught everyone by surprise. I really liked it. It'll be interesting to see what they do. If they do anything to. You know. Update his story or something. After he got saved. At the end of season 2. But it doesn't look like we're going to get a season 3 for a while. Right here, I'm just kind of adding some, adding a little bit of embellishments to the to the. I don't know what you would call it. Is he is he wearing a robe? Something, whatever he's wearing. And just gives it a little bit more character, a little bit more um, design wise. It looks like something, maybe a fold in the material or something like that. Just adds a little bit more to the drawing. Going for the arms here. And this is why having an underdrawing is really 
helpful because now I'm not guessing as to where I want the folds in the clothes, where I want his arms, how long I want his arms. You might have saw on the speed lapse, I was adjusting the size of this hand. I thought it was too big, so I just used the little adjustment layer here, circled it. Well, it's not going to do it now because it's on the wrong layer. I'll show you how I did it. In case you're wondering, basically, circled it, went back to the arrow, and now I can use a uniform and make it bigger or smaller. And that's really helpful when you're trying to adjust uh, arm lengths, leg lengths, all kinds of stuff. Maybe you made one eye, you maybe you drew a really good looking eye, right? But it doesn't match the other one, or maybe it just it's off just a little bit. So you can use that selection tool and make the eye bigger or smaller, whatever you need to do. And then that way you don't have to redraw the whole thing. You can just do that. You might have saw me um, messing with his fingers here. I was going to give him pointy fingers. See, I'm doing it again. Because he has pointy fingers in the show. But, I don't know, stylistically, I think I wanted him to have more rounded fingers. So that's what I went with there. Didn't like that. here a little bit further out there we go I got a thumb here a couple fingers you know a different show that I'm waiting for to come on is the Ahsoka Tana show that was another cool character that I like a lot of people I really didn't like when she was first introduced way back when in the Clone Wars I think she was first introduced in that one animated show, not the one that everyone knows, but the, the very first one that had kind of a different style. And yeah, I just thought she was so annoying and whiny, but really throughout the years she has she has grown into like a really favorite character of mine in the Star Wars world. Alright, we're getting there. So now we're gonna do the folds on the ears here. Just kind of Pressing down to get that better line weight there and then thin it out at the end. Try to do the same thing over on this one. I don't think, I think that was too much there. Yeah, I like that one better. <clears throat> now he's got his big old baby eyes, even though I guess he's like 50 years old, right? That was a nice little, nice little swerve there too in uh, episode one. He's the subject the Mandalorian was going after was. They said fifty years old, so he's looking for this old person, probably old alien or something. And he runs across this baby Yoda. All right, we are getting there. Oh well, no, what I do? Sometimes I do that, accidentally swipe it with my hand and that my finger makes a mark and I have to go back in. If I get far enough along in the drawing, I don't want to erase everything I've done. So I'll just have to go in and manually erase it. But thankfully that time, didn't have to. Got a nice little smile there. And for his little wrinkles, I think I'm just do it stylistically and just put some lines across. Kind of like that. Yeah, I like that. And now, I'm not sure what I want to do with these eyes, but what I did was give them little highlights. And what I'm going to do is hold my pen down to keep it a little bit more circular. And do one down here. And now... <clears throat> Now we're just about ready to move on to colors. So I'm not going to fill these in with inks because I want to see, I might want to fill it in with a dark black color and then leave a little white down here. We'll fill the whole thing in with black. And so we'll figure that out in a second. But first, pull up my color palette. Figure out a color for his coat. Oh wait, before I do that, 
set this set my I'm gonna rename this real quick so I know what I'm doing inks new layer so that one underneath it set my inks to reference and lock it so I don't accidentally color that layer. All right, so now, let's see, maybe a little bit more grungy. Yeah, I like that one better. All right. And then for the Baby Yoda skin color, I'm gonna go with a green, but it's almost like a, a, a muted forest green, kind of. Oh, I really like that one. I think I'm gonna stick with that one. I'm gonna go back to a regular studio pen that doesn't have anything messing with it, so it's super easy to color with. All right. Whoops. <clears throat> yeah, all right. So I'll do the. And what I'll do with these ones, I'm gonna fill these in with green. Whoops. What happened there? I'm gonna fill these in with green. But this is, I'm going to actually want them white, but I'm only filling them in with green. So when I, the white was on the background. And if I filled it in with white, I wouldn't be sure if I colored the whole thing. But now that I filled it in with a different color, you could have used any color. Uh, then you can just come back in, color in the, the actual color that you want. And you'll know you've colored it all and you won't have any like spaces in between where you're supposed to color. Great. All right, so now I'm figuring out the eyes. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go back in with the black. I'm not going to make it pitch black. I'm going to make it like just there. Probably won't look much different in the camera, but just a little small difference compared to the, the black on the ink lines. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this in as little motions as possible. So that way, when I have to reverse it, if I if I have to reverse it, it won't be very many steps too. Okay, so this one eye came out all black. And I think I kind of like that, but what I want to do is change this to white. Put a little white here where the under because the black isn't the whole thing I don't think I haven't studied it long enough to know for sure but I think the black is really this this whole eyeball color and there is a white underneath there I'm gonna hold this to change it back to the dark color I just had and from here so now we're seeing yeah okay there we go so now I can now that I have it like this, I can compare if I like this eye better with the white marks in the corners, or if I like the other eye better with it all dark. I'll be able to find out in just a second as I finish coloring this in. Oh yeah. Then again, just like I, how I was drawing certain things on the on the um, on the character itself, it's really just preference. But I do prefer the dark, total dark eyes over the little whites. So I'm gonna color those back in with the black I already have. All right, looks good. Next. I'm going to just add some shadows and we'll be done with Baby Yoda. So I'm going to do a test shadow first. What I'm going to do is shake the dark brown color that I like to use for my shadows. You can use any color. If you want a dark brown, just go to the brown, brownish and go down. I'm going to pick a new layer. Oh, I think I already did. Yep, I made the new layer. Change this one to shadows. Underneath that, I'm going to make a new layer. The shadow is going to be for my actual shadow layer. This one is going to be for my test shadow layer. So I'm going to take the color I have. I'm going to pick a big brush. And let's see, where do I want shadows coming in from? I think I want shadow, this the light source over here. So 
I'm going to put a little shadow in here and just in the inside of the ear, inside of his head, maybe on top here, right in there. And I'm just being real rough with these right here, just because this is just giving me an idea of where I want the shadows. Maybe a little bit on the inside of his arm there. <clears throat> All right, yeah, I think I like that. Not very many, doesn't have to have a whole lot. Keeping them in too many shadows might, might take away his little fun and cute look that we're, I'm trying to go with. So go back up to shadows. On my test shadow layers, I'm going to drop the opacity just like I did with my underdrawings. A little darker there. <clears throat> shadow layer. I'm going to go back to my, my regular studio pen that I've upped up on the streamlines. And I'll just fill in these shadows here. Fill in a couple of them before I drop the opacity, just so I can see what it looks like. And for here, let's go with... All right, so instead of filling that whole thing in there, I'm gonna use this tool. There is another way using masks. Maybe I'll use that in a later video, but this way I've been using it recently. And it's just a quick fill in tool with everything I want to fill in. Okay, something like that. What I'll do is drop the opacity on this one. Usually about 40 to 50%, somewhere in there is where I like to stay. That looks pretty good. Yep, like that. So, now I'll finish it up with the rest of it. And I'm just going to do a time lapse here just because you saw my underdrawings for my shadows. It's the same concept that I'm using when I'm doing the underdrawings for the actual figure. But all I'm doing now is going over where I want my shadows and filling those in. So I'll talk to you in a few seconds. All right, I'll give it a try. No, try not. Do or do not. There is no try. Okay. And we're back here. Take off my underdrawings for the shadows. See if I left any spots here. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I really like the way that came out. And now I just want a shadow underneath him. I was going to use the same shadow level or shadow, shadow layer that I used uh, to create the shadows on, on the character itself. But it's too light for the shadows on the ground, I feel. So what I'm going to do is do one more layer underneath, same brown color. And I'm going to take off reference on this because we won't need it. And down here, what happened? Oh, this one is locked. So go to that layer. Yeah, I think I like that. Actually, I think it's a little... Well, let's see. Oh, that's right. You have to connect your lines. I forget that all the time. Drop the opacity on that. It's a little too dark. 
Almost looks like he's going to jump through a portal or something, but right there. There we go. Take off my underdrawings completely now. And there we have it. Little Baby Yoda with a little shadow underneath. Grogu for the, for the purists out there, but he will always be Baby Yoda to me. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe down below. We're going to be doing some more videos in the upcoming weeks. In October, I'm going to be doing a uh, Let's Draw for different Halloween movies. Or uh, um, what are they called? Yeah, ha Halloween movies, basically. But not just Halloween, the actual Halloween character. Michael Myers, I think his name is. Uh, but like Freddy Krueger. Um, the clown from It. The, uh, let's see, Chucky. All kinds of those, uh, those characters. I'm going to be doing some of those for the month of October since it is the Halloween month. Uh, so yeah, please, if that sounds like something you like, if you like these videos I've posted so far, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want me to uh, draw something in particular. I to, I'm always taking suggestions for the future. And I will see you in the next video.